to watch. Because you're too soft-handed. Because they're not fucking white, basically. You don't enforce the law because there's too many people who aren't white. And you don't know what to do, do you? You don't even draw your batons. You don't put your riot gear on. You let your officers get clapped from the side. You're watching police officers get sideswiped and punched and kicked all over the floor. And you don't enforce the law. Why not? What's your problem? Oh, man, I'm, I'm just watching it and I'm getting so fucking angry. Just thinking, how the fuck can you let that happen in our capital city? How can you move? It's not that you let it happen. You purposely let it happen. You moved the men out of the way that were there to protect that statue. And you made sure that those people could come and vandalise it. Piers Morgan, any celebrity who has supported this bullshit, those 27 injured police officers, it's on your hands. Okay? I think 70% of people killed in police custody in the United States are white. You talk about white privilege. 600,000 crimes were committed in the United States last year by black people against white people. 60,000 crimes were committed by white people against black people. Don't bring this bullshit, bullshit politics to our country because we haven't got it. That racial tensions that they might have in the United States, we don't have based on race. Race politics, which BLM, you've done more to break down race fucking integration in this country than anyone's tried to do. Much more than the National Front ever done. Look what you've done. Look what you're doing. The divide that you're about to create in this country is fucking going to be un unrecognisable. And you've done it. They've been allowed to do it. It's funded by all these far left organisations. Antifa. And they're supported by politicians. The Labour Party supported that today. The Labour Party. How fucking weak. Anyway. Next Saturday. I'll see you all in London. Because my blood pressure is about to go. I can't believe what's come of our country. And that statue like you did in Bristol today and there's not going to be a British public there to confront you about it, you're wrong. You watch next Saturday how many people turn up.